Hi everyone and welcome to another Heresy Thursday video. Hope you're all doing well. So today's Heresy reveal was one that a lot of people have been asking for for quite some time and today is finally the day. This spoiler squad upgrade kit. So I was pretty excited when I saw this but unfortunately excitement quickly turned to a little bit of despair when I realised that not only are these not plastic, there's actually not enough in the kit to make a full squad so more on that in a moment but let's just have a look at what we do actually get in the upgrade set. So we get five chain swords. There's a two-handed chain sword with the correct arm to go with it. There's a power axe which can be used as a charnable weapon and there's also five bolt pistols as well. Now, my biggest gripe with this is there's not actually enough to kit out a full squad. I've no problem with the way they look. I think they look absolutely great. The design of the bolt pistols and the chain swords look good as you can see on the Space Marine on the screen there. But there's just not enough to kit out a full despoiler squad which I think is a bizarre decision because if you wanted to do that, you're gonna to have to buy two of these upgrade packs. So there's nothing wrong with the pack itself. As I said, I like the design, I like the way it looks, not an issue. And if we look at the packet there, it says these can be used to kit out your Forge World Mark V Space Marines or Citadel Mark III, Mark IV and Mark VI Marines. Now, interestingly, there's no mention of Mark II. I know that's because Forge World aren't selling them, but does that mean we might be getting some plastic Mark II in the future? Very possibly, who knows? I just can't get over the decision that there's not enough in the packet to kit out a full squad. It just seems a bit bizarre. I know you could use them for veterans and sergeants, but to kit out a full despoiler squad, you're going to have to buy two of these upgrade sets. So I don't think these are going to come in plastic. I don't think this is a stopgap stop measure. I think this is what we're going to get. So a little bit disappointed in that, but there was some good news today. They also put at the bottom of the article on Warhammer Community, don't worry, more plastic infantry is in production. So that means we're definitely getting more plastic infantry, whether it's going to be Mark II Space Marines, which is I think it probably is going to be, or plastic Mark V, or maybe they might even do redo the plastic Mark III and Mark IV to bring them up to a slightly better scale, who knows. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be plastic Mark II, given that we've already got half a Mark II Space Marine on the vehicle upgrade sprues. Also, does it mean that we might be getting plastic breacher squads? That could be another possibility for plastic kits, who knows. Let me know your thoughts in the comments then. So what do you think about this new Despoiler Squad upgrade set? Are you a little bit disappointed that there's not enough in the kit to make a full squad? Do you like the look of them? And also, what do you think might be coming soon based off what they've said at the end of that article? More plastic infantry is on the way though. So it's great that we've had that confirmation, but it's just a shame that they've hit the post ever so slightly with this upgrade set. I would have liked them to have been in plastic just like they are for the um, weapon upgrades. And the other problem with these as, as well is all the bolt pistols are left hand and all the chainsaws are right hand. It would have been nice to have a little bit of variation given that we've only got five Mark VI bodies across the entire Horus Heresy range at the moment in plastic. So just a little bit of variation would have been nice. But anyway, that's a minor gripe. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Let me know you've enjoyed it. And if you didn't like it, just leave me a comment. Let me know why. And all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.